Welcome to the Hacker's Toolkit, where we dive deep into the world of cyber threats and how to protect yourself. You know me, I'm all about exploring the latest tech, but today, we're flipping the script. We're not talking about the newest phone or the coolest gadget. We're talking about the tools and tactics hackers use to exploit vulnerabilities in the digital world. Think of this as a teardown, but instead of dissecting a smartphone, we're breaking down the methods used to compromise your online security. We'll uncover the techniques they use, the vulnerabilities they target, and most importantly, how you can stay one step ahead. So buckle up, hit that subscribe button, and let's get into the hacker's toolkit. All right, let's jump right into it. When we talk about a hacker's toolkit, we're not talking about a literal toolbox. It's a digital arsenal of software, techniques, and sometimes hardware. You need the right tools for the job. Hackers need the right tools to achieve their goals. Some tools are common, like password crackers. These programs try thousands of password combinations per second. Vulnerability scanners search for weaknesses in systems. Keyloggers silently record every keystroke. Social engineering manipulates people into giving up information. Phishing emails trick you into handing over credentials. These tools are constantly evolving, becoming more sophisticated. Understanding how they work is the first step in protecting yourself. Now you might be thinking, my accounts are secure, I use strong passwords, I'm good, right? Well, here's the thing. Hackers are incredibly resourceful. They're always finding new ways to bypass even the seemingly toughest security measures. One way they do this is by exploiting zero-day vulnerabilities. These are flaws in software or hardware that are unknown to the developers, meaning there's no patch or fix available yet. It's like finding a secret backdoor into a building that no one knew existed. Another tactic is using stolen credentials. Remember those keyloggers and phishing attacks we talked about? Once hackers get their hands on your login info, they can access your accounts, steal your data, and even impersonate you online. It's like giving someone the keys to your digital life. And then there's brute forcing its way through. We mentioned password crackers earlier, but they can also be used to target weak points in a system's security, trying different combinations until they find a way in. It's like trying to break down a door by repeatedly ramming it with a battering ram. Not subtle, but sometimes effective. The point is, no system is 100% secure. Hackers are always looking for new ways to exploit vulnerabilities, and they only need to find one weak point to get in. Okay, let's get real and talk about some real-world examples. Facebook, with its billions of users, is a prime target for hackers. Remember the Cambridge Analytica scandal? That's a prime example of how data breaches can have massive implications. In that case, it wasn't about directly hacking into Facebook's servers, but rather exploiting their API and user data policies to harvest information without direct authorization. It's a reminder that security vulnerabilities aren't always about brute force. Sometimes it's about exploiting loopholes and manipulating systems from within. And then there are the more traditional hacks like the one in 2018 that affected millions of accounts. Hackers exploited vulnerabilities in Facebook's code to gain access to user tokens, essentially digital keys that grant access to accounts without needing a password. It's like finding a master key that unlocks every door in a building. These incidents highlight the importance of strong security practices both from the platform side and the user's side. Facebook has been working to improve its security measures, but it's a constant cat and mouse game Twitter, another social media giant, has also had its fair share of security breaches. One of the most high-profile incidents was the 2020 hack where several high-profile accounts, including those of Elon Musk, Bill Gates, and Apple, were compromised. The hackers used a technique called social engineering to gain access to Twitter's internal tools, allowing them to tweet from these accounts and spread a Bitcoin scam. It was a stark reminder that even with sophisticated security measures in place, human error can be a major vulnerability. Another notable Twitter hack involved exploiting a vulnerability in their API to gain access to users' direct messages. This breach highlighted the importance of securing not just your account credentials but also the data that your social media apps have access to. These incidents serve as a wake-up call that no platform is immune to attacks. It's a constant battle to stay ahead of hackers, and it requires a multifaceted approach that includes both technological solutions and user awareness. So, we've talked about some high-profile hacks, but let's break down some of the most common vulnerabilities that hackers target on social media. 
One of the biggest ones is weak passwords. I know, I know, you've heard it a million times, but it's still a major problem. Using the same password across multiple accounts is like using the same key for your house, your car, and your office. If someone gets their hands on it, they have access to everything. Another common vulnerability is clicking on malicious links. Phishing attacks are still incredibly effective, and they often come disguised as legitimate messages from friends, businesses, or even your bank. Always double-check the sender's address and be wary of any links that seem suspicious. Then there's oversharing personal information. Think about it. How much information about yourself have you shared online? Your birthday, your hometown, your pet's name, these are all pieces of information that hackers can use to guess your security questions or even impersonate you. And let's not forget about public Wi-Fi. Connecting to unsecured networks is like leaving your front door wide open. Hackers can easily intercept your data, steal your login credentials, and access your accounts. If you must use public Wi-Fi, make sure you're using a VPN to encrypt your connection. Okay, so now that we've covered the scary stuff, let's talk about how you can protect yourself. First and foremost, use strong, unique passwords for every single account. I know it's a pain to remember a million different passwords, but trust me, it's worth it. Consider using a password manager to help you keep track of them all. Next, be cautious about what you click on. Don't click on links from unknown senders, and be wary of any messages that seem too good to be true. If you're not sure, it's always best to err on the side of caution and delete the message. Be mindful of what you share online. Think twice before posting sensitive information like your address, phone number, or financial details. The less information you share publicly, the less hackers have to work with. Enable two-factor authentication whenever possible. This adds an extra layer of security to your accounts by requiring you to enter a code from your phone or email in addition to your password. It might seem like a hassle, but it's a small price to pay for increased security. Keep your software and apps up to date. Software updates often include security patches that fix known vulnerabilities. By keeping your devices updated, you're making it harder for hackers to exploit those weaknesses. Now let's talk about social engineering because this is where things get really tricky. Social engineering is all about manipulating people into giving up sensitive information or performing actions that compromise their security. It's not about hacking into systems. It's about hacking into minds. Think of it like this. Imagine someone calls you, claiming to be from your bank, and they say there's been suspicious activity on your account. They ask for your account number and password to verify your identity. You might be more likely to give them the information because you think you're talking to a legitimate authority figure. That's social engineering at work. Phishing emails are another classic example. They often look like legitimate emails from companies you know and trust, but they're designed to trick you into clicking on malicious links or downloading malware. Always double-check the sender's address and be wary of any emails that seem suspicious. The best defense against social engineering is awareness. Be skeptical of unsolicited requests for information, be cautious about who you trust online, and always verify requests for sensitive information through official channels. Remember, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. So, here's the thing about cybersecurity. It's not a one-time thing. It's an ongoing process, a constant battle between those trying to protect information and those trying to exploit it. As technology evolves, so do the methods hackers use to compromise our security. What works today might not work tomorrow, so it's crucial to stay informed about the latest threats and vulnerabilities. Think of it like a software update for your brain. You need to constantly update your knowledge and skills to stay ahead of the curve. The good news is that there are resources available to help you stay informed. Websites like Krebs on security and threat posts provide up-to-date information on the latest cyber threats and organizations like the National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, offer guidelines and best practices for cybersecurity. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you know about the tactics hackers use, the better equipped you'll be to protect yourself. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and stay safe online. That was a lot to cover, but I hope you found it helpful. The world of cybersecurity can seem daunting, but it's essential to remember that you're not alone in this fight. By taking the necessary precautions and staying informed, you can significantly reduce your risk of becoming a victim of cybercrime. Thanks for watching the Hacker's Toolkit. Stay safe online and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into the world of cybersecurity.
Until next time, stay curious, stay vigilant, and keep exploring the ever-evolving world of tech.